I want to cut it. Ha ha. I'm just spraying some lubricant on it. This is that dry lubricant spray. I think it's called T9. Who makes that? Bow Shield. Using the aviation, it, but it actually sprays on and then it, it dries and it becomes a dry lubricant. This whole thing needs to be have a bath. All of it does, tractor, everything. Hey, welcome back to the channel. We are going to be playing with a mini clip today on the front of the T-474. We call this thing the T-Rex because it, uh, the way it, it crunches trees. This thing will cut a seven inch tree uh, off even with the ground or you can reach up into a tree and cut uh, a tree down in, in, up in the air. We've got it in its most, not always fully extended, but kind of a mid length right now. Uh, found that to be really useful with the tractor. So you can literally cut the trees off or your limbs off and then turn around and pick the whole limb up and carry it and put it in your burn pile with just the, 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 the clamper, the pincher. So you don't have to cut it, you can use it as a clamping system to pick up stuff so you're not running back and forth between two different uh, implements like a grapple and whatnot. Anyway, this thing is about three years old and we have cut a ton of trees down. Today we're gonna run back to the cabin bill. We've got a tentative road going back there. We need to cut out a few small trees that are in the way and it's gonna open our, what we're gonna consider our permanent road up. Because right now we have a, a, like I said, a tentative road. Eventually the cabin will come in at the front gate and go through the back of the property off into the woods. There won't be a direct access <clears throat> to the cabin from the road. Let's go do it. <laughs> Gibbo, let's go cut some trees down. He don't like cutting trees down. He don't mind this. He don't like cutting the, he don't like chainsaw. Are we going to work on the new trail area too? Uh, up back there? No, going that way. You said something about doing that cut. Yeah, I know we got to cut. I think there's some big trees in that though. We can cut a lot of little ones out. Okay. And just pull them out and carry them and throw them in the pile. Okay. Take this tree off even with the ground. It's not a very big tree. Really no danger. Push, push it around the root. Going as far as we can go. This is something neat you can do with it. So now we've got it on the ground. We're going to open it up all the way. And then what I'm going to do is rotate it. A little too much. There we go. And to make this more manageable, I'm going to just snip this thing up in a few pieces so I can carry it out either by hand or when I do come back with a grapple. It, it's easy to manage, and I don't have to have a chainsaw here. No manual labor, which I'm all for. My understanding is that what we've done is this thing will cut anything that is uh, seven inches or less. This is elm right here, which is a pretty mean tree, but if we we cut hickory, uh, we've cut elm, and these are like really hard to cut. It's rated at seven inches. I know it'll do a little bit more, but I know if you stay within that rating, it just, I don't care what kind of tree that it is, it will cut it one to seven inches. Hickory, whatever. 
So I've cut it, but I'm not going to release it. I'm going to set this off out of the way. I don't have my grapple with me. What I'm going to do now is just grab this piece. Use the pincer. Pick it up, set it over out of the way. Now this is, we've done this for three years. Obviously we don't show every time we use it. It looks beat up and, and it, it has been used a lot, but see what I do right here where I'm just busting that stuff out of the way, pushing it out of the way. It's just a solid little rig. You can knee limb or you can cut off even with the ground. So the T474 has really made it to this thing great. It's, a, it's heavy enough, it's stout enough that, that it's able to pick up the trees and really use it the way it's meant to be used. Do the same thing where we Set this tree out of the way. That was about probably, look at the base of that. It's probably four and a half. This one here is going to be every bit of seven. This is a oak. Uh, yes, this is a. See it. Yeah, I think it's oak. I can't really see the leaves. That's a sweet gum. Yeah, so this is a sweet gum tree. It's hard to see the sun shining right in my eyes. So this is sweet gum, and it is roughly about the maximum, I'd say seven inches around at the base. Push in a little bit. So it's a little bit over seven. We'll, we'll squish it, open it back up, push on in, squish it, open back up, push on in. I think this will get it here. We'll go all the way. Now, once you have it like this off the ground, you just want to kind of back out from under it, and that leaves the tree leaning forward. So you release it and back straight up. Tree's leaning forward doesn't want to fall down on So again, what I'm going to do is just come in here with the tractor, cut this up into manageable sizes, and then we'll come back with a grapple and pick it up. It'll be easy to carry. this seems slow but when you take the amount of manual labor it would take to do this it, it, it actually is very nice to have you get a lot of woods to manage this is actually a, a pretty decent investment one thing you're always going to have is tree limbs growing over the road I can reach up about 16 can't see it. There we go. I can reach up about 16 feet. You gonna pick it up by hand? No, don't pick it up by hand. Listen. Look at her. That's against the rules. That takes all the fun out of it. Show off.
I also have a busted foot, got a chip bone in my heel, so I'm 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 seat bound a lot. And she just I think it was fun just to do that. She took some of my fun away. <laughs> All right, we need to look down through here, see if any of these we want cleared out. I think you want a bunch of these cleared out too, right? No, I want to keep them. I thought we just want to clear these out. If you take the little stuff out. Just the little you, ones. If you take the little stuff out, you're going to let it see through. That's going to thicken back up after that storm. We had a um, storm come through here up the front of the property and it just ripped down trees. I think we talked about right in there in between a little bit. Okay. But not a whole bunch though. Which one are you talking about? for it. So here's a good use. Right, there's a good healthy tree right here and then right beside it there's a small tree. So I'm going to trim the small tree down so that it doesn't compete with my big healthy tree. This is actually a good thing to do uh, with, it, with this mini clip. You just take you a Saturday afternoon and you drive out through the woods and you can collect, like if you got a big healthy tree like we got right here, that's a, uh, that is a sweet gum tree right there, but it's nice and healthy and there was a little small tree right up next to it that was growing. And so we, we just tripped that off or trimmed that off and that's gonna give this big healthy tree, it's not gonna, it's not gonna have as much competition now. You know, so that's a good thing to do is you can clip, uh, clip around your you know your your little tree so anyway let's go up here to the front and we're going to work on our this is actually the future road there's one more you need to cut down that little one right there it ain't in the way though no that one's got to go down it's got a lot of dead at the top but that's got to take chainsaw there yeah seven inches reasonable it'll do eight or nine but you got to kind of pinch at it a little bit i just find myself gravitating towards seven inches and in, in below on the on the cutting it does a really good job but you can come out here and like do some serious uh, thinning. In in an in a afternoon, you can clear all the little stuff out and give all your big trees room room to grow. You don't take that one down. No. It's all bent. All right, I'll be back. So we're working our way back from the cabin and we're gonna be bringing these sit panels in and these panels are, some of them are like, I don't know, 12 feet wide. Uh, so we're gonna just get a, get everything that's low hanging and close to the road out. And then behind me over here, we're gonna just continue on. Uh, there's a new road that's gonna be coming in that's gonna to go towards the barn. And uh, this will all eventually be graveled. This is actually part of the permanent road here, but right here it turns left and goes up the hill. We're going to have it come in at a much more gradual uh, way up that hill so that it doesn't wash. But for now, let's just chop this dude off.
This is a big hot mess right here. Big hot there. I'll pick my boom up a little bit higher, tilt the head down, gives me a lot better visibility. and you won't tear it up just sometimes you'll get in a situation like that Solid. Let's see if it'll chop this cedar. It's still really solid. That's satisfying. I don't know why. So this thing has a little remote on the steering wheel. That I push a button and it diverts when I push my third function instead of opening and closing. You push a button on the remote and it turns it around. You let go of it and then it opens and closes. Like I said earlier, this 474 is so uh, it's a real sturdy uh Got a lot of low weight, which makes it really good. It's center gravity is low and it's heavy. The way I got it set up now with loaded tires, this thing is probably about 5,000 pounds right now. Good 4,500. And the tiller's on the back of it. That tiller's about 1,000 pounds.
guess the trick to this and every other machine is to go slow and steady. Some people get like angry and want their piece of equipment to work faster because they're impatient. So you always break stuff that way. You can make equipment do a lot of stuff by just going slow and steady. Almost. Last little fibers broke off.
Okay, well, I think this is pretty awesome. We spent about an hour. This is, took us an hour to cut this little road. Uh, and if you can imagine having a little hand chainsaw and trying to do this all by hand, I did all this without breaking a sweat. And apparently we have disturbed a hornet's nest, but other than that, we're good to go. We'll come back in here with a grapple, clean all this up, get all the little loose stuff out, come back with the mulcher, come through here and mulch all the way up. This old persimmon tree that's been struck by lightning, it's, it's really sickly. It's got to go, and we have to go this way because there's a pretty extensive drop-off over here. And uh, so the, this will be the natural flow of the driveway, and we'll have to take this tree down. And I think after that, and that persimmon tree up there, it's going to be wide enough for a drive. So this is probably, I'll just call this our three-year review on the mini clip. Now you'll see people that have tried pieces of equipment and they show up once or twice and that's it. You don't see it. You don't ever see a piece of equipment again. Uh, we've, again, we've owned this mini clip now for, this is the third year. The T474 is the third year we've had it here and all of it still works. It's not as pretty as it was the first day we got it but it all still works. Listen, hope you enjoy this. God bless, have a great day.